how millions of black World War II vets were denied their benefits. The GI Bill was supposed to benefit all soldiers. It helped World War II veterans prosper. It gave them access to college education. It led to the rise of suburbia and the baby boom. Theoretically, the bill applied to all veterans. But in practice, most African Americans were left behind. How did it happen? The problems began when the GI Bill was being drafted in 1944. Southern Democrats feared its potential social impact. The House Veterans Committee was chaired by Mississippi Congressman John Rankin. Rankin was a vocal segregationist who opposed interracial marriage. He made sure the program would be administered by the states. This made it easier for southern states to exploit loopholes. Many vocational programs were only offered to white vets. African Americans could still apply, but they were told there was no equipment available. Intimidation and lynchings were also common. Thousands of black veterans were attacked in the late 1940s. VA unemployment insurance was also hard to get. If other work was available, unemployment benefits were taken away. But other work often meant jobs that paid less than subsistence wages. Southern refused to deliver the application forms to black veterans. None of this went unnoticed at the time. Both veterans and civil rights groups protested, but after several years of this treatment, it was too late. White veterans had moved into newly created suburbs. They began amassing wealth in skilled positions. Black veterans lacked those options. The majority of skilled jobs were given to white workers. Thus, the disparity was established for decades to come. The post-war housing boom also excluded black Americans. The GI Bill guaranteed low-interest mortgages and other loans, but they weren't administered by the VA itself. The VA could co-sign, but not actually guarantee the loans. Banks simply refused mortgages and loans to African Americans. Here's a telling statistic from Mississippi. In 1947, more than 3,200 VA guaranteed home loans were offered in 13 cities. Only two of them went to black borrowers and it wasn't much better in the North. In New York, fewer than 100 of the 67,000 VA mortgages went to blacks. College admissions were similarly restricted. Southern universities banned black students outright. More than once were reluctant to accept them. Even the VA itself encouraged black vets to apply for vocational training instead. As a result, 95% of black veterans went to black colleges. These institutions were already underfunded. Now they were overwhelmed by the influx of new students. Most were unaccredited as well. The original GI Bill ended in July 1956. By that time, nearly 8 million World War II veterans had received education or training. 4.3 million home loans worth $33 billion had been handed out. Employment, college attendance, and wealth had surged Homeownership had reached an unprecedented high, but the vast majority of black Americans had received nothing. The wealth gap between whites and blacks only grew. This disparity still haunts America today.